Hello everyone, and welcome to my Minecraft 1.16 Let's Play. Let's get started. I am so excited to be starting up this world with all of you. This is going to be quite the adventure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, where have I spawned? I appear to be on an island. I see a pumpkin. I see a dark oak forest. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab the pumpkin. Thank you. Now let's, let's get some wood. The very first step to every Minecraft Let's Play. Punch in some trees. Okay, so let's take a little look around this seed. The first thing you'll notice is all of my favorite biomes are within eyeshot, and that is why I picked this seed. I don't know everything about the seed, all I know is the biomes that are around, because I specifically wanted a jungle, a dark oak forest, and a mega taga to build in, and I got exactly that. Right. Now, oh, there's baby cows! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna go right up here and just grab some stone so that I can get some basic tools. Stone age. Heck yeah. Okay, I got 14. That should do it for right now. I don't know. I didn't count. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Getting an upgrade. Oh yeah, we're Minecraft pros over here. Chopping down a little bit more wood, and then I think I'll make my way over towards that mainland over there and get off of this little island. I'm gonna leave the cows alone. They're vibing, they can exist. It's adventure time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited, oh my goodness, look at the beauty that is Minecraft. And can I just say, Minecraft 1.16 runs so smoothly. This is such an amazing update. Wowie, let's let's park ourselves right over here. Got some sugar cane, perfect. Wow, okay. I love that we can get access to so many different wood types around us, but the first thing we need to do is find food. Oh, and sheep. Hi, I'm gonna need you. I am gonna need you. Oh, and cows, oh my gosh. I don't wanna kill them right away because I'd love to farm them or get some shears if I can. Oh dear, let me see if I can tuck into a cave somewhere. Found a cave, this was the easiest surface iron ever, okay. So with this series, I have quite a lot of plans. A lot is focused around building, but of course a lot is also focused around actually exploring and being in the nether in this update. And I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I hope you are too. For these seeds, since I know that you guys are asking, I will release it. I'm actually, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna release the seed if this video that you're watching right now gets 5,000 likes. I know that's quite a lot for my channel, but I don't wanna release until 5,000 likes because I want to keep some of the things a secret in this kind of early game. So I'm hoping we won't get there right away. But if we do, that's okay, I'll just release it in the next episode. Whenever we get there, I'll let you guys know. Okay, there's more surface iron down in this little ravine. I'm gonna go collect that. Gotta be careful about the lava though. Um, yeah, okay, I'm fine. Super easy iron. This is what I need to get me started for sure. Okay, that was a super easy way to get some materials. Uh, let's go over on the shoreline over here where those animals were and uh, start smelting that. Need to get a bed, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be a rough night. And I have to start farming because my hunger is getting low. Crafting table and a furnace, right back to the basics. Perfect, I'll put that much in for now and wait for that to smelt. Speaking of food, there's actually some fish in here. Um, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Yep, thank you. This way I can farm fish which are easily like replenished and not the animals, just in case there's no more animals in a radius, I'd rather breed them. Okay, and let's actually make a smoker for our food just to have that go a little bit faster. There we go, it's much better. Minecraft Pro already. Oh, acquire hardware. Yes, please, new recipes. Right, okay, sheep, it's your time to shine. One wool, that was not what I needed, okay. Your turn? Yes, that's much better, that's exactly what I needed. And just like that, we have a bed. Okay, <laughs> I can definitely rest now. You know what, let's dye the bed. I'd like a yellow bed. There, just for aesthetic purposes. Okay, so next step is definitely a house. I'm gonna need to collect a lot of materials for that and the dark oak forest, mega taiga in the background and jungle make it really easy to get wood because those are some really big trees. So I'm gonna get on that. This early game is definitely one of the most relaxing stages of Minecraft for me. I absolutely love being in the early game, doing some farming, having these stone tools, really nothing to my name at all, and it's really a fresh start. I get to build up this world however I want, and I'm so excited. 
Let me know what you guys think I should be doing on this seed just based off what you've seen already. I'm excited and I definitely want to be sharing ideas with all of you. It's getting dark, I think. Oh dear, where's the sun? Yep, it's setting. Okay, um, let me just back down here. I We're gonna have to sleep in the middle of the nowhere tonight. And you know what? That's okay because this is our starter house now. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, get that in. You know what? We can make some iron gear as well. Let's sleep. Sweet dreams. Ah, perfect. Okay, so what's the best first iron gear to be making? Probably some tools, maybe a chest plate to keep us safe. Since we have enough, you know what? Let's go with a chest plate. That'll be good. And then we'll also get, we'll use these six pieces to make a pickaxe and an ax, since I'm going to be building probably a good idea. And I have even more coming, so no worries at all. Let's use up these stone ones first though. All right, I'm gonna do a little exploring. It's, it's about that time. I need some spruce wood anyway, so I figure we'll just wander this way a little bit, see what we can see. So far, just more pumpkins. Oh my gosh, I love this seed. Just having all of my favorite biomes in one area is so important. It's going to be so inspiring for me to build all throughout this series. Hello, doggy. Aw, you're cute. And a bee! Oh, you're adorable! Oh my gosh, I love the bees. <laughs> right, okay, don't mind me, I'm just deforesting. What a beautiful view! Oh my goodness, this is going to be a fantastic place to build at some point. Look at all of this. Oh! <gasps> Excuse me? Hello! It's a jungle- I haven't seen a jungle temple in like years. Oh my goodness! We gotta go find it. I'm going on an adventure. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I can make cookies. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm bamboo. Yes, please. Haha, -ha, I am here. Okay, now. Oh God. Um, excuse, excuse, sorry. Yeah, it, apologies. Oh my. I've been fired at and I can't, oh. Is it a monster? <gasps> I have half a heart, I have half a heart, I have half a heart, oh my gosh. How? Oh, 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 ha, hmm. Yeah, um, pair of pants? Sure. Oh. Okay, but a brave warrior never backs down. Should have made a shield. So should have made a shield. I don't know what that does. Uh, I've played Minecraft for seven years. I still don't know what that does. Okay. Uh. Horse armor. Hey, that's going to be useful. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you too. Hey. Hey. Your friend blew me up. Who oh, blew you up too. <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. What can I get rid of? Wow. I, I have so much, so much stuff. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. What a turn of events. Okay, you know, as fun as this exploring thing is, I, I think I need a home base. I gotta, I gotta go get a starter house. This is dangerous. I don't feel safe. And uh, I wanna go home. I don't have a home, so uh, let's work on it. First off, chest, because how have I acquired this much junk? I just started. Ha. Huh. Okay. Okay, so for a Minecraft house, there are a few things that we most definitely need kind of right off the bat. Definitely a storage system. I have so much crap and I need somewhere to put it. it doesn't have to be fancy right now, but you know, it's gotta be something. We need a place to put our bed, somewhere safe where we can always respawn. I need farms to actually have food that isn't fish. Luckily, I got a good start on the seeds though. And uh, lastly, but not least, I'm going to need somewhere to actually smelt and craft all of my stuff. So I need a good spot that kind of has all of those things. And I'm thinking right here along the coast is actually kind of perfect. You know what? What if I use this? It's like already kind of built. I could live in here. Huh, let's do it. I'm gonna start by putting some pillars up on each side. I'm gonna make an extension of this mushroom because, well, there's not quite enough room in there, but you know, almost. And we'll just get some stairs going and get a simple roof on it. You know what? 
This is not looking bad. I like it. <laughs> I love all of the options for building that we have. Oh my gosh. There's actually more than you would think in the early game, and this is going to be lovely to live inside. We are going to have to dig it out a little bit, maybe, but wow. Definitely need a little bit more space, so maybe we'll add a little section off here as well. I really like how tucked into the forest this is. It gives me really good uh, foresty vibes. I like it, especially with the pop of color in the mushroom. Okay, now I just fill in the walls. I'm not going to go for depth just flush because this is such a small house if i go for depth i won't have interior so we'll find depth in other ways doorway right here definitely necessary oh maybe even one down i have to figure out the terrain all right now i'm just filling in the roof easy enough i like all these connections they're very simple and it lets us have this nice bright mushroom right on top i'm literally gonna end up dying from fall damage from jumping off my own house oh, like a dummy Right. okay i like this this is definitely a home and this definitely has quite enough room for my interior although i mean it's not much but i can make it work i'll make it work oh it's nighttime it's nighttime it's nighttime it's nighttime panic got it all right house established i like it but it's missing something and also, I'm never gonna be able to pen my animals if I don't start a farm. So how about I start a farm? Because uh, that way it can grow while I'm building. And naturally, when I say start a farm, I don't mean just chuck down some wheat in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we are going to properly really build up a nice area for me to start farming. Okay, so for my plan, I would love to do these different tiered sort of farms. I think that would look great. And this looks like a great place to do that. All I gotta do is build this with dirt. Oh, and I need a, I need a bucket. I don't have any iron. Okay, so we, we have to go mining before we plant. That's okay. We can, we can totally swing that. How did I literally already forget that I just went and almost died for this iron? I'm, oh dear. All right, well, I have a bucket and I didn't have to go mining, but I do have to go mining this episode. Just not yet. Excuse me, cow. Yeah, it's fine. Just push me. Sure. What do you want, dude? What? Hey, hey, I'm gonna make a home for you. Don't even worry. Okay, so in order to hide this water source, but still have everything be hydrated, gonna plop that under there, place that back. There we go, and bam, it's hidden. Oh, excuse you. All right, and just like that, we can get planting. Perfect. Oh, ran out of seed. Okay, that's fine. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, but Jen, the composters. Well, of course, of course, we're gonna place composters. Look at this. This is gonna create such a cool little border along here. And we have so much wood available. I mean, why wouldn't we decorate with some composters? Oh, I'm in a composter. Okay, and of course, gonna cap those off with some trapdoors. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. It has some work though. So yeah, pretty much for every layer we do, just add another room of composters. I do need something to plant though. Uh, hang on. Yep, absolutely. Also, don't mind me just literally starving to death for the sake of building a house. Hello, let's eat. Oh my gosh. Progress update. I like it. I like it a lot. However, I do think that this one house doesn't quite have enough room for me. The interior is looking good. There's our mushroom. We'll have a second floor up here. Maybe that's where I'll put my bed. I'm not sure. We'll put something up in the mushroom. And then we have a little bit of room down here for working, but it's kind of tiny. So I figure in order to combat that, maybe we can have a little shed off to the side. I think right here would be a great area. It just looks good overall. I think it would look great filled in with something. So uh, what do you say? Let's get to work. It's challenge time. I'm gonna build this one on a diagonal just for fun. Is this too close? Oh yeah, that's way too close. What am I doing? I really wish I had shears. I could really use some shears to get rid of these leaves because then I could replace them in a better spot. Oh well, soon enough. Okay, is that gonna be better? Yeah, that's perfect. So it's gonna be on a diagonal like this. Yes, I'm so excited about the placement of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna help so much. And I think the fact that it's on an angle is helping out a lot because these are pretty simple builds. They're just starter houses, but adding little bits of detail like this really can make a big difference. Diagonal roofs aren't too bad, especially if you do them out of slabs. When you're doing it out of stairs, it's a little harder, but this is not bad. 
Oh, I need one more block. That's unfortunate. All right, mission accomplished. There's our little shed. In between all of these little structures, I am going to be using some coarse dirt here. I got this coarse dirt by mining some gravel from right here. Super simple, easy to get, easy to make. Looks great. Once we dig this out, it'll be the perfect spot for some storage. Perfect. And to top it all off, a little crafting table right in the center. And of course, we do need some doors for all of these structures. On the diagonal one, I'm going to do two doors. Just makes sense. And this one gets one. We also need some windows, huh? Let's get some glass. I don't want to destroy my whole beach, so I'm just going to get eight pieces. There we go. On small builds like this, it's really, really nice to just add as many details as possible. I think I might change that up with a different overhang, actually. Hmm. Maybe we can get some campfires. Let me see. Okay, what do you think? Quick overhang, just right here. Um, let's put this out, thank you very much. And then, right, like that, and then a little part. Huh, that's not bad, right? Cute little front detail. I love working on these small houses. There's so many little details that we can add here. While I'm here, I do think it's a good idea to get even more of these farms going. So I'm gonna make another circle one right here. Maybe this is a sort of theme that we can get going in this little area. Turning it into some sort of village and having these be the source of food. They certainly are quite fun to make. I'm really enjoying this entire process of building up this little area. Look at it! Oh my gosh, we can totally live here. I think it's about time to start moving in. Oh, and we have our first wheat harvest. Perfect. Two wheat. That's exactly what I need in order to actually breed some cows. So how about I go do that now? It's never a bad idea to keep your pens away from where you actually live a little bit because let's be honest, these guys are loud. <laughs> and some gates. Perfect. Okay, cows. Yep. It's your time to shine, my friend. Into the pen. Come on, come on. Now I'm gonna get you a friend as well, so I just need... Yep, you just stay there. I'm hoping I can do this without getting any sheep. Um, I hope I didn't say that too loudly. Just so that we can keep those animals in separate pens. I do want sheep. I just... I don't want sheep with my cows. Come on. Come on, we're almost there. It's the home stretch. You stay in. Come, come. You two are gonna be friends. Yay, friendship. Okay, goodbye. I do think I'll go shear a sheep right now so I can get some carpet to hop over that fence. There we go. Perfect. You know what I just realized? I said that I wanted shears earlier. I made shears at the beginning of this episode. I've had shears this whole time. I, I can't explain it. I don't know, guys. I, I really, truly, I don't know. But good news. Bushes. Let's get lots and lots of this lovely greenery all sprinkled around. Yes, indeed. On top of the bushes, I think I'd like to decorate with these lilacs that I picked up right from the spawn island. <laughs> Be like a nice little memory to have around and a bright pop of color. Perfect. Okay, I will admit I am a little sick of jumping over this as well, so how about we build a little bridge? Yeah, a little bridge never hurt anybody. Right about here should do it. Perfect. There we go. That is super cute. I will blend it in a little bit better with the dirt, I think. All right, friends. I think it is about that time where I finally am packing up and moving into my house. Oh my gosh. It's about time, huh? Home sweet home. I've built a little loft here and I think for now this is where I'm going to put my bed. If it gets annoying to keep coming up here, I may move it down to the main floor. We shall see. And of course we need a little cooking area over here. This could almost be like the kitchen. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's turn it into a kitchen then. Maybe a little chimney there. Ooh, let's get some flower pots. A little bit of clay, don't mind if I do. And that is my last piece of coal. So, that means I officially need to go mining. I think it would be very appropriate if I use this room, the next door room, to store some stuff in barrels. Like maybe something like that? Some quick bulk storage? Yeah, I think that'll be good flower pots oh gosh i'm overflowing with stuff that's okay um one there one there perfect and i think i'd like a little table and chairs let's put a pressure plate and some chairs i don't know if that looks silly or not maybe it does but for now that'll do we can always adjust it a little bit later 
We do have this one awkward extra piece of wool. You know, I could, I could use that. Let's make a painting. Every little decoration counts, right? Right as we enter, right there. Oh, that's cute. What are our other options? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, there we have it. I think my 1.16 starter house area is about complete. It's ready to go. It's ready to be used. It's ready to farm all of the things. I'm excited. At this point, the main thing I need to do is go mining for a lot of resources like diamonds and full iron gear and full iron tools. And I also need to farm up all of this wheat when it's ready so that we can keep breeding our cows to get leather to get bookshelves. Sounds like some pretty easy missions to me. I should have no problem at all with that. Hey cows, are you ready to be fed again? Oh, you are! There you go. Yeah! Babies! <laughs> Perfect. I've gotten the itch to go exploring, so I'm leaving my home and venturing out. I have food, I should be fine. I wanna see if I can find a quick shipwreck or something to get some easy loot. Also a really good chance to admire this jungle. Oh my heck. Oh, turtle. Awesome. This is so cute. This might be a really good area to set up a base at some point. I would love to have multiple little villages and stuff dotted around in here with trails connecting them. That would be awesome. Oh God, what did I just? Hey, dolphin, what you doing? What's, there's something, there's bubbles. <gasps> oh! Oh, I see you! Oh my gosh! <gasps> what have we got? Gold gear! Oh no! Dolphin, no! Stay away from it! Stay away from it! No, 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 Come this way, come this way. Oh my goodness. This is traumatic. Wow. Okay, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready for that. This seems like a really great place to end episode one on a cliffhanger. Perfect. We are definitely going to do something with that ruined portal. I am so pleased that it is underwater. That is going to be so cool. It's also in this like little cove. Oh my gosh. Give me ideas, guys, down in the comments. What do you want to see me do with this portal, with this area, any area that you've seen in this episode? Let me know. I'm so excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching everyone. As usual, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, definitely subscribe so that you can follow my series and support my channel. I appreciate every single one of you and I am going to be reading all of the comments as soon as this episode comes out. So definitely get talking down there and give me your ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.